what is it with these unavailable guys, right? You keep attracting them into your life and you're wondering, you're doing good work, but you're wondering why am I attracting these unavailable guys? Why am I seeing this pattern in my life? And you're asking the question, hmm, what are you doing wrong? What might be off track? Well, today I'm gonna to share with you one surprising reason why the universe might be sending you unavailable guys. This question came in in my coaching program. This woman asked that very question. She goes, I'm doing the good work. I've got my vision. I'm aligned with my vision. I'm attracting other guys that I like, but I still am attracting unavailable guys. Why is that? And so as I was coaching this woman, it became clear. It, are there times when you and your own pattern, the underlying current of your vibration, sends a signal to actually call in specifically unavailable guys? Yes, but that's not the only time that occurs. You see, there's an interesting phenomenon that I've learned about life and the way this universe works through my own experience. And then I've also read it in other mentors and, and masters books when they're talking about how this works. And when you believe in the law of attraction, there's an interesting thing that happens. And that is that when you make a declaration for what you want in your life and you commit to it, a funny thing happens. The universe will often show you the exact opposite to actually serve you in knowing the thing that you want with greater clarity, to committing to it with greater force in your life. Let me give you an example. When I was in my, I was 25 years old, living in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, selling timeshare. Now, timeshare was not my passion, it was not my purpose. I was actually working on Project Everlasting, it was kind of on the side, I just wanted a break. I wanted to have an adventure in life. And my goal was to be down there for a year. And I ended up being down there three years because I kind of I kind of got in a rut. I kind of got just in this rhythm of being down there and I wasn't truly moving forward on my purpose and passion in life. And so in year three, I started meditating. Huh, is it time to move back? Is it time to give up this lifestyle? And I wasn't getting any clear signals until one night. I'm in my meditation and I hear loud as a booming voice like a lightning bolt, now is the time to move. Now is the time to leave. Go home, work on this book. Your passion is relationships. Go write Project Everlasting. Move back to LA. And I said, okay, that night I made the decision. I committed. The next day I go into work and I'm going to tell my boss I'm going to quit, move back to LA. And after our morning meeting, he goes, hey, Matt, I want to talk to you. I said, well, that's ironic because I want to talk to you too. And so I sat in his office and he, and he said, well, let me go first. And I said, okay. And he said, Matt, our assistant manager got a senior job managing another resort. So we have no assistant manager starting next week and I want you to become the new assistant manager of this entire sales floor. And I said, well, what does that look like? What does that mean? He described the job for me and then he described the compensation. And it was $100,000 in salary and $150,000 in commission if I was working in the same way that I was before. And I said to him, so you're, you're talking about a quarter million dollars, $250,000 for this job? And he goes, minimum. Now, I was 25 years old. $250,000 was a whole lot of money. In my, like I was like, oh my gosh, man, I'm wealthy at $250,000. But an, in, an interesting thing went through my system. I felt myself not even flinch, not even budge. Even though that was a lot of money, I knew it wasn't my path. I knew it wasn't my purpose. And I knew that if I could say no to that, then I truly was on the right track. I truly knew that this is my purpose and the direction that I'm headed. And so I told him, I said, well, that's a really nice offer, but I actually came in here to tell you I'm gonna quit. And he goes, what? His eyes got big as saucer. He said, what are you talking about? And I told him my dream, what I wanted to do. And he spent five minutes trying to convince me to not do it, give up the dream, at least for a little while, and come and just earn money doing this. I said, I'm sorry, I'm gonna pass. Move back to LA launched the book, changed my entire life, became a coach, became a speaker, and I'm able to serve and to pour into you. And I'm so grateful and I'm so glad for that 25-year-old kid who made that decision because it put me on a path of doing what I love. And at the end of the day, earning way more than the amount that he was offering anyway. And so when you make a decision for what you want, when you make a decision for, I want a healthy, deep, connected relationship, oftentimes the opposite will show up in X 
will come back into your life. Something shiny, something sexy, something that looks really attractive but isn't really what you want will appear. So some ex that doesn't want a relationship, some guy who is uh, not unavailable emotionally, that'll appear for you to know yourself and for you to know your decision and for you to make a solid decision that says no to what you don't want and yes to what you do want. To not be dissuaded, to not be pulled back into an old life pattern. It's an interesting thing how the universe does that. So watch out for that. Just because you might be attracting unavailable men, don't automatically assume it's because you're doing something wrong. What if it's because you're doing something right? What if it's because you are on the right path and the universe is just making sure that you're committed to what you say you really want? What if you let that be a sign of confirmation and quickly say no to the things you don't want and yes to the relationship you do want? Now, if you've experienced this, in your own life, I would love to hear how this has shown up for you. So go ahead and tell that story. Post that in the comment section below. I'm gonna to love to check that out. I appreciate you. Thanks for being a part of this community. I'll see you soon.